Welcome everybody to this new B2 Techpress. I'm going to be showing you today how to verify Shopify domain into Facebook Business Manager. So first of all, what you want to do is to access the Facebook Business Manager and choose your business. If I open and you tapped, what you want to do is to only tap Meta Business. This one is going to be showing you a lot of faces, but here what you want to do is to focus into the facebook.com Meta Business Suit, where you can manage everything about your business, absolutely anything there. So what you want to do is to make sure that you have an actual page already been created inside your Facebook so things are going to be much more faster. I'm going to hit now into get started and this one should be sending us directly into the actual editor and the business section of our store. In this case, we don't have this actual page that actually runs with this uh, website that we have just created. Now, what you wanted to do is to focus and select your business from the business manager dashboard. So you can see here, that we have loads of business accounts. So I choose the business account that is uh, linked it to my Facebook page and I just uh, moved on into the next step, which is the process of verifying your Shopify domain. Well, first of all, let's go to navigate to the brand safety. If you don't find it, you have to worry about that. Just focused only into the settings. And here into the settings, you can see that we have now the branding section inside of the brand safety and suitability. And now there's a domain. Now here are all the domains you have added to the business manager and going to be listed there. So as you should see, we don't have any domain yet added. So what I wanted to do is to install clicked into add inside here. And now what you wanted to do is to initiate the process of adding your Shopify domain. So whether you wanted to choose to request access to a domain or to create a domain. So your business needs to use this asset on behalf of another business or we need to create an actual business. For example, here to our domain, what we wanted to do is to choose the element that was created for us. Let's see, for example, this one. Go now into add. Now the omens can only be added by one business but can be shared with design partners. As you can see here, we have the verification of the domain. So this is the verification method where you want to get started to choosing a preferred verification method. This may be including adding a meta tag to your Shopify store or upload, uploading an HTML file to your server. So choose the method that aligns with your technical capabilities. This ensures the Facebook recognize your ownership of the domain. So what you wanted to do, let's say for example, the here, select one option. And here what you wanted to do is to, let's say for example, add a meta tag to your HTML source code. So it says now here that we have three or four different things in order to make the verification process. For example, number one, copy this meta tag. So I copy it. Number two, paste this meta tag into the head head section of the website homepage, HTML source and publish the page. After you publish the homepage, confirm the meta tag is visible by visiting this actual source. So it's going to be really easy to do the process. Let's go back here into our Shopify. Inside of Shopify, what you want to do is to add this actual tag directly into your editor. So here I'm going to go here to three dots and go for edit the code. Inside edit code, we should see that we have lots of stuff to get started with. So what you wanted to do is to focus into the theme liquid. Inside the theme liquid, what you wanted to do is to look out for the actual head. So let's go for, let's say for example, control F and here I'm going to go for head or inside the actual theme coding, just type head and check out here is our actual head. So I'm going to paste here my new code, the meta name here. So I saved it. Now click into verify domain. Now, of course, in this example, this is not going to be uh, immediate because the verification process might be taking up to 72 hours for Facebook to find this meta tag code. So we need to make the click verification again and confirm the meta tag listed a few days later. But this is how we can actually make the process. And sometimes it might be taking more than it usually does. Lastly, guys, what you want to do is to make sure that the verification has not been confirmed. Usually what we do is to go back here into your Shopify, go into settings, and then type settings you want to go directly into domains. As you should see here, inside this domain, we don't have the actual coding code that store the verification of this store, this domain that we actually currently have. Now, if you wanted to get started by choosing and installing a new domain inside Shopify, what you want to do is that instead of connecting an actual existing domain, is to go into buy a new domain. And here, what you wanted to do is to type the domain you wanted to purchase. 
For example, let's say this one, and it's going to be telling you if this one is available or not. Or for example, you can choose other uh, ideas, other results. So you can hit now and divide to tell me. Now Lads is going to be giving you all of this information in order to make the process. And now, as you can see, it's now been appearing here into the verification process. Actually, it's not that hot. I don't recommend you guys to remove this domain verification before you actually passed out the 72 hours. After that, you can remove this domain and try it again later inside the business settings. To make this process a little bit much more faster, I recommend you guys to have the meta application installed into your store. And now here is the Facebook and Instagram feed free to install. This one is going to be evening the odds and make the process much more faster since Facebook already has now checked out that your actual business has been linked between Shopify and your business account. As you should see, I have now this process already been enabled. Lastly, what I just need to do is to continue the verification of my store and I'm actually good to go. But this is how, guys, we can actually get started by doing the process really, really fast, guys. So just in case you have a question, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to receive more information about the actual meta and Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video. Remember, you have the link down below in the description to get started. And hopefully, guys, I can see you next time.